so let me cover how we can map the reads to a reference genome for biological insights so this is followed in the different steps so in the first step we try to find the novel transcript and isoform detection Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will show you a simple RNA-seq data analysis workflow. And we know that usually there are three main steps of RNA-seq data analysis workflow. So among them, our first step is actually the library construction. And we know that usually library construction needs your total RNA samples. So after you have extracted the total RNA samples and those RNA which qualify and have the high RNA integrity numbers can be further processed uh, for messenger RNA enrichment because when we extract the total RNA we have to deplete the ribosomal RNA and we only need the messenger RNA so after that sometime we directly do reverse transcription and after that because we know that usually messenger RNA is changed back into cDNA th through this process but sometime first we do fragmentation then we do reverse transcription but in some cases first we do reverse transcription then we do fragmentation after that the last step of the library construction is the adapter ligation so after that our first step of library construction is finished so when we have constructed our libraries our second step which is of sequencing that begins and depending upon the samples sometime we do clonal amplification and sometime we directly approach to the sequencing after the adapter ligation we know that usually sequencing is done through the raw image data in the form of colors and those raw data images are further processed into the short read sequences and after that our second step of uh, rna seq data analysis which is the sequencing is finished and after that our third step which is of the bioinformatic analysis start from these short read sequences pass through a series of processes of quality control assessment in which we usually filter our low quality reads we try to reduce the unmapped reads by using uh, junction library and after we have constructed our junction library we sometime directly after the quality assessment we map the reads to our reference genome after the quality assessment we directly go for the de novo assembly so let me cover how we can map the reads to a reference genome for biological insights so this is followed in the different steps so in the first step we try to find the novel transcript and isoform detection after we have done the novel transcripts identification and isoform identification uh, we go for the non-coding rna identification and after that we go for the fusion gene detection and uh, after that we try to find uh, the snp discovery which uh, which are single nucleotide polymorphism discovery in your different samples and lastly you go for the copy number identification uh, while mapping your reads to a reference genome so after you have mapped your reads to a reference genome you go for biological insights and how we change this de novo assembly which we have mapped to a reference genome how we get uh, biological insights using de novo assembly so first we do normalization because normalization within and between the experiment is essential so once you have done with the normalization you go for differential expression analysis normalization and differential expression analysis are important steps in rna seq data analysis and i will cover these processes one by one individually in separate videos and after that we go for the functional network and pathway analysis which we do through gene ontology and keg pathway analysis using this functional network and pathway analysis we also get biological insights so with this our last step of rna thick data analysis which was bioinformatics is over 
So this is a simple and easiest RNA seq data analysis workflow. So if you have any question related to the RNA seq data analysis workflow, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.